Lena Kejriwal is a photographer and an installation artist. Her seminal works on her city is showcased in her best-selling book, Calcutta, Repossessing the City. She has been an artist in residence in France under the Indo-French Cultural Exchange Program. Cities with their socio-political and economic structure have been her prime interest and the subject of her large-scale photographic installation in Kolkata, Delhi, Tehran, Berlin and Weimar. For the last several years, she has been working with several NGOs working on the issue of human trafficking and prostitution of young girls. Her new artwork, Missing, takes the issue to the public. Currently, she is the president of Rotary Club of Calcutta, Charangi. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lina Kejriwal. Respected dignitaries on the dais, fellow Rotarians, Innerwheel members, and delegates present in the audience. I'm going to share with you my public artwork titled Missing. You might think why anti-trafficking in a literacy summit. The world is seeing a rise in trafficking statistics today, and many of these victims have also attended school. Education today would be incomplete without a full awareness on this issue. And women are forced into living in inhuman conditions of brutal violence and repeated rapes because there is a market created by men who buy sex. Trafficking is a market-driven crime and the demand leads to the escalation of the supply. Though the government, NGOs and the police are doing their work in the field, there is a deep vacuum when it comes to the public awareness on the magnitude of this issue both at the rural level, which generates the supply, and the urban level, which creates the demand for the girls. On the other end of the demand is the victim who is supplied, girls who are kidnapped, forced, and coerced into slavery. Meet Karishma, a survivor. She was a happy-go-lucky schoolgirl who attended school like many other girls till she got trafficked. She found herself in Delhi's notorious GB Road, in the dark hell of her brothel. The first time I met her, just thinking of it made her go stone cold and her eyes widened with terror. And she said, why didn't anybody tell me this happens? Missing uses a simple and powerful visual imagery to engage the public on the issue. It focuses on the UN's first P, of the 4P strategy, that is prevention, through awareness. The work primarily consists of public installations of larger-than-life black silhouettes of young girls set against the sky, like black holes into which millions disappear from the face of the earth. They are weatherproof fiberglass sculptures painted pitch black like sharp black holes in the sky, symbolic of the millions of girls who have been pushed into slavery and prostitution. They evoke curiosity, empathy, and sadness for their plight. The Missing Public Art Project was launched at the India Art Fair in 2014 to great reviews. And through the Rotary Initiative, we should take it to at least 10 cities across India. Social change can only happen when we create a strong public opinion. End demand, end slavery should become a collective and public thought and what better way than to do it than through a visual medium? 
It also takes us closer to putting these girls back to school. The silhouette has been taken forward in the ground level awareness campaign through the stencil project across the country. They act as a constant reminder of the missing girls, as well as the remembrance of those who have gone. Anybody who stands for the rights of these girls can download the stencil and create them on the walls which are near them. I'm sharing with you some figures here. We have collaborated with multiple organizations like the Women and Child Welfare Ministry, Childline, Rotaractors, individuals, NGOs, artists, and others to make the stencil campaign and spread the awareness of the issue worldwide. Another feather in our cap has been this game. For every step you take, I have a price to pay. In this game of freedom, I don't. But you have a say. Hey, hey, hey. I long to go home to where I belong. I am missing. Save me before I am long gone. The game comes under the genre of Games for Causes. These showcase issues that have a social impact. The player here gets into the shoes of a trafficked victim and experiences her deep frustration, utter hopelessness at the situation, and it creates awareness during the game, gameplay and drives action towards change. The game has won the NASCOM Indie Game of the Year Award, our highest downloads have been from India, USA, Brazil, South Korea, and Philippines. To accomplish these figures organically is no mean feat. It is available for free in both Android and the iOS. And to share one of the many reviews, someone said, I believe your game is a very good way to reach people and to contribute to this change. I wish that our future daughters will face another world, a better one. And this is like one of the many reviews we get every day. The next step, of course, is to translate the game into 13 Indian vernacular languages as a part of our awareness campaign and into some more international languages. It will be used as a part of an awareness campaign in NGOs across the country and hopefully soon in the Rotary schools. Though it can reach our and through it, we can reach our target audience. It can also help us create a huge impact and awareness of human trafficking and the porn industry, which is ripping the social fabric and how the youth conceives the image of women today. There are many human slaves in the world today than ever before in the history of mankind. I would like to quote um, past Secretary of State John Kerry here. He says, if the cries of those who are enslaved around the world today were an earthquake, then the tremors would be felt in every single nation on every single continent simultaneously. I would like every fellow Rotarian here to feel those hair-raising tremors. The girls need the good of the Rotary more than ever today. Thank you. <laughs>